T G I F. Uh, I thought only students look forward to Friday. So young, so naive. Everyone looks forward to Friday. So, what are your plans for this weekend? I'll probably just chill at home and play some computer games. Oh, my mom wants to get a pressure cooker, and she asked me to go buy it. A pressure cooker? For whom? She says my granddad wants one. The old one's faulty, I think. Why not just an electric cooker? Actually, I'm not sure. I don't even know the difference between the two. Well, as the name suggests, a pressure cooker makes use of heat and pressure to cook the food, while electric cookers only makes use of heat to cook food, just like a gas stove. But how is pressure used to cook food? Isn't food supposed to be heated up for it to be cooked? Yes, of course. But you see, under room temperature and pressure, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and vaporizes into steam. However, in a sealed pressure cooker, the boiling point of water increases as a result of increased pressure. This means food can cook in water at higher temperatures, taking less time to cook. You mean water does not always boil at 100 degrees Celsius? Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius only under normal atmospheric pressure. When pressure changes, the boiling point of water also changes. My gosh, I didn't know that. So now you know. You see, the increase in temperature inside the pressure cooker causes the gases trapped inside to expand. However, as the pressure cooker is sealed, the gas is unable to expand freely. Thus, pressure increases and the boiling point of water in the pressure cooker increases as well. Seriously? That is so cool! But why is it that when temperature increases, pressure increases as well? That's a good question. Before we continue, do you recall the kinetic molecular model of matter? Yes, I recall that the temperature of a gas is related to the speed of the molecules therein. Good. When the temperature of the gas increases, what do you think will happen to the gas? Mm, when temperature of the gas increases, the gas molecules move faster, right? Absolutely. And what happens to the gas if we cool it down? The gas molecules will move slower. Very good. So, let's imagine a gas sealed in a container. The molecules will move about randomly and hit the walls of the container. What will happen to the molecules hitting the wall when the gas is heated up? Hmm. 